Now to simplify this we've got to just realize that the first two terms we already simplified in the first part of the question. So we can say that f of x equals and these two terms simplified to 4x plus 1 all over 2x minus 1. So therefore we've just got this minus 2 now on the end. So we've got to put them all over a common denominator again. So what I'm going to do is just take our fraction 4x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 and for this 2 we could times top and bottom, remember there's a 1 underneath here, times top and bottom by the same thing so it's like timesing it by 1 and it won't alter the value just the appearance and I'm going to choose 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1. So it's the same as doing 2 times 1, still 2. But it does mean that we have two terms here over the same common denominator. And I would certainly encourage you to write that in now as the 2x minus 1 all, uh, you know, underneath all of this line here because it's very common to find a mistake that's made if you don't do this. And I'm going to try and help you avoid it. I would say 4x plus 1 then minus 2 bracket 2x minus 1. Because if you don't put this over common denominator there's every chance that you might write 4x plus 1 minus 4x minus 2 when you expand this and it isn't you'll see that when we expand this instead of it being minus 2 it's going to be plus 2. So put it all over a common denominator like that. If we expand this out then as I was saying we get 4x plus 1 minus 4x plus 2. So that's the place you've got to be careful about. And that's over 2x minus 1. So 4x minus 4x that's gone 1 plus 2 is 3 so you can see that we end up then with 3 over 2x minus 1. Okay.